Skillful interplay sees Gary Teal beat the offside trap, but not keep her go. The score sheet, however, wasn't to stay blank for long. Teal again involved, and Annan gets in the end of this for the opener. He and the visiting fans delighted, obviously, but Gary Gow claims an infringement the referee clearly doesn't see. 1-0 to air. Annan has scored some excellent goals this season, and he found space once more. The Thistle defence standing off, but Anand can't find the direction needed. Jerry Britton was to have a say in the outcome of this game, and here he turns his man beautifully. But Craig Nelson earns his salary for the day. The shrewd John Lambie has brought a heady mixture of youth and experience to Fur Hill, and it's clearly working. And one of those with much mileage under his belt is Jamie Dolan, who might have been around the houses over the years, but surely hasn't scored many better than this one. It's well worth another look. Power and technique combined to score a sure contender for goal of the day. If Dolan had set the standard, then Ayr were anxious to match it in the second half. Marvin Wilson had the confidence to try from long range, but Nelson not really concerned. Ayr were minus three central defenders out through injury, but Gordon DL will surely ask questions about how Jerry Britton was given the space to give Thistle their second of the day. Britton, though, certainly takes it well and once again shows the value of having an experienced striker on the books. United are second favourites to go up, according to the bookies, and they indeed have enough know-how in John Hughes and once again Eddie Annand. Their joint efforts see two thistle defenders unable to clear their lines, and Wilson has another goal from outside the box. But the scoreline goes unchanged. This was an entertaining game, not without its fair share of chances. Good work again by Thistle provides an opportunity, but no reward at the end of it, Nelson collecting comfortably enough. It's easy to mock, you know, when you're either in the stands or in your armchair, and you might think Scott McLean should have scored here from Jerry Britton's header. He probably feels so too, but he was where he should have been, and then another day it would have been three goals for the Jags. And so to the final chance, the ubiquitous Eddie Anand on the end of this, but not providing the equaliser to the dismay of his colleagues. A disappointing day for United, but promoted Thistle leading the way in the first division. I thought I had about six or seven. I keep saying to the players, if I've got seven on song, then you'll not be far away at the end of the day. And I thought I'd six or seven players on song. I thought uh, Dolan and Jerry Brick was absolutely superb, and I thought my back nine handled the game well. Yeah, it's very hard for us. Um, we've came to a difficult away tie. We've got off to a good start. And then we lose another central defender, and um, it showed today because we've lost two sloppy goals. I know it's early days regards the, the position wise, but you'll be feeling confident now that you could maybe sustain yourself at the top of the table. I'm not interested. Uh, I say that it's no interest in me. But I've seen things happen. I mean, last year in the league we were in, we started off very, very slow and finished up uh, going like world beaters. I mean, right now I just want my players to keep their feet in the ground. I mean, the main aim when you come out of the league is to stay in the league. And as I say right here now, uh, the way we are going at the present time, I would be like, delighted if we finish in the top six, but try and say that to my players, and I never say that to my players. My players know that we're going for the highest position possible, and that, that's what these punters deserve. So Jerry Britton supplying a golden goal there for Party Thistle. It's one that takes them to the top of the league. The rest of the action from the Bells First Division coming up. It's goals all the way.